Controversy tonight at SUNY Brockport. An attorney for Fire Diversity Director Dr. Cephas Archie says the campus police chief tried to, quote, dig up dirt on Archie. The Brockport president ordered a halt to the police inquiry, but the news has stirred up more concern as Atia Collins reports. Students I talked to say they are shocked to hear that campus police have reached out to former colleagues of Dr. Archie's, and they say it is lending to building mistrust between students and the university. Students at this protest are laying out their demands and concerns, some wondering why Brockport University police reached out to former colleagues of Dr. Archie. So when I found out the news, I was a bit outraged, and it brought a sense of distrust within the university police because we want to work with them, and it seems like they're working against us. This letter from Dr. Archie's lawyers claimed the chief of campus police called a former colleague of Archie's looking for, quote, dirt on the former chief diversity officer. According to his lawyers, the colleague describing the call said, after further discussion with Chief Vasile, it was obvious to me that Chief Vasile wanted me to provide him with disparaging information and dirt regarding Dr. Archie. And I told him if so, he had the wrong person to use as a witness. The phone call came one day after students protested what they called racial tensions on campus. The College of Brockport released a statement today saying the police inquiry was prompted by someone calling the school saying they had information on a former employee. But the school adds, because of the nature of the allegations, the voicemail was shared with our chief of police. The inquiry should not have occurred. Students here are still trying to decide how to move forward. Our goal really is to get on the same page so we can, I guess, project ourselves in the right direction for the changes that we want to see. And students here at the college are creating a list of demands, hoping to find long-term solutions for what they are calling diversity issues. In Brockport, Atia Collins, News 8.